Start by placing your barrier tape on your control switch and your control panel. Turn on the system. Place the sticky tape on the dead man switch. Be sure to not touch anything outside this room as your gloves may be contaminated. Place barrier sleeves or sticky tapes on any other important objects that we may touch. Wrap your tu tube head in a barrier sleeve or place sticky tape on the important parts that you may touch. Quickly check your room to make sure that all possible areas that may be touched are protected and ready to go. Set up your 18 film sequences in order. Be sure to have a disinfectant wipe to wipe every film as it comes out of the mouth or the sensor when we're all done. Raise or lower the chair to the proper height so the patient doesn't have to climb or fall into the chair. Lower the armrest for ease of access to get into. Bring your patient in, being sure to guide and navigate them to the chair and watch as they get in in case any falls. Bring the armrest up to secure their, them in. Begin by placing their patient bib over them. During this time, be sure to ask any important questions, allergies, if pregnant, anything that may affect our process. And continue by putting the lead apron on them, wrapping the thyroid collar around their neck. The thyroid collar, you can have your patient bring their chin up, lean forward, tie it around the neck on the back, not too tight to choke them, and then assist them with raising their head. For comfort and stabilization, adjust the headrest to meet the patient's head to stabilize them for x-rays and so they don't strain themselves. Adjust the control panel. The first setting will be centrals, then canines, then bite wing x-rays, lower posterior teeth, and then upper posterior teeth. The middle setting will be for our digital, our films, or our phosphor plates. Last one will be for adults or a child. Set correctly. Ready your x-ray equipment so that you have your tube head near the area that you're gonna be x-raying, and also have your equipment, such as the RIN XCP ring set or the snap arrays. Instruct your patient to remove their mask and begin taking your films. Starting on the patient's right side, I'm gonna go and pull their cheek a little bit to the side, and I'm going to roll my film into place. Have them bite down to secure, making sure that it's nice and in proper placement, and then push the ring in or pinch the ring into place. Bring over the tube head and continue to aim, then step out of the room. Once x-ray has finished, go and remove the tube head from the site, pull back the ring gently, and then remove it by unrolling it from the mouth. Be mindful of how you are inserting the x-ray equipment into their mouth. It may be uncomfortable or damaging to their tissues. Even when properly putting it in there, it may be uncomfortable and watch out when you're removing it to take care to not hurt your patient. They will remember it for later. They will get you back. At certain points, your patient may be resistant and pull away from you when trying to set up the x-ray and they may have good reasoning due to you being a little forceful or not caring on how you take your x-rays. Your whole set should take you no longer than about eight minutes or so. When experienced, be mindful of your whole process that you are going to be running and possibly make them uncomfortable throughout this process. When bite wings, my personal technique is to hold it like a card into my, between my fingers, insert it into the mouth and hold it down with my index finger to secure it in place as my patient bites down onto it. If it looks painful, roll the x-ray back towards the posterior and then slowly roll forward so that, it, so that the pain is lessened. Here's an example of doing the same technique, but definitely watch out. Sometimes in this situation, the patient may bite down and catch your finger as revenge. Another thing to watch out for is when you're putting the bite wing in there that the patient may offset the film and bite on the film itself instead of the bite wing tab. Like I mentioned from earlier, if they want to get revenge on you and they accidentally bite down your finger, sometimes that patient may not want to let go 
and uh, someone loses a finger. Just nicely retrieve the finger and continue on with the x-rays.